Lagos State Deputy Governor Dr. Kadri Obafemi Hamzat has implored Nigerians to put aside all forms of differences and come together for the development and growth of the country in order to build a better nation that the future generations will be proud of. Speaking after the Idel al-Kabi prayer held at the Lagos Central Mosque, Lagos Island, the Deputy Governor stated that Nigerians should shun violence and live in harmony with one another, adding that no one benefits anything from being violent. Speaking for that, Dr. Hamza charged Nigerians on the need to avert negative occurrences not only by reporting crimes but also strive to prevent calamity from occurring, noting that the present situation of the country has gone beyond the popular cliché of see something and say something. He said it is now see something and prevent the something we cannot just stand by and allow evil to happen. The deputy governor stressed the need for everyone to engage and take ownership of their community as well as being their brother's keepers to live a sustainable life. He therefore prayed that God continues to be merciful to the nation and that Nigerians continue to experience God's peace. To thank Almighty Allah for sustaining us and for keeping us till today and uh, that we are still part of humanity given what has happened around the world. Uh, but most importantly for us to understand the need for peace. You know, you get, nobody gains anything by being violent or by killing a fellow human being. And the Quran is very clear. When you kill a soul, Almighty Allah said, it is regarded as if you destroy a whole city. So, I mean, we benefit nothing from violence. So my message is for all of us to live in peace and understand that uh, what God desires of us, what he wants us to do is to live in peace and, you know, accord ourselves respects, irrespective of your religion. You can't fight on behalf of God. So God can fight his own war. So we are too small. So let's leave all these issues and let's face as citizens, as humanity, live together in peace and build a better country for our children and for our grandchildren. The presidential